Hello guys, welcome back again. It's a boy Gerard. I'm Slank Media. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another crazy video, guys. Uh, meanwhile, we just lost a legend, guys. A legend from Endo State, Benin, my home state. And uh, the person is Majek Fashe. He just passed away a few hours ago and his manager came out to announce it. But before we go right into that topic about Majek Fashe, Idris Abu Karim seemingly came out to put Bono Boy in his place. He blasted Bono Boy saying Bono Boy is not Odogu, that the only Odogu we have in this uh, Nigerian music industry is either Davido or Whiskey. And meanwhile, he also took the time to praise Davido. And also, I'm going to be discussing how Whiskey came out to call out President Buhari's name. Like, he blasted Buhari, compared Buhari, to same person with Donald Trump. He said Buhari is no different from Donald Trump. That the only difference is that Donald Trump knows how to use Twitter, while Buhari doesn't know how to use Twitter. And meanwhile, a lot of celebrities are coming out to speak against this rape and everything that is happening in this country. So first of all, let us jump right into the what we'll be discussing and let us start with Idris Abu Karim. Let us listen to what he has to say about David Do, Bono Boy, and Whiskey. You know, be Odogu, you never reach Odogu, Odogu. David Do now Odogu. David Do for this generation, on our generation. Whiskey now Odogu for this generation. You never reach Odogu. Easy, boy. It's in the worry, easy. Easy. If Nigeria start with you, take an easy. Oh yeah, where they go now? Easy. Please. Eh? Go and learn more about your culture and tradition. It will help you. Books. I smoke ganja rasta. But I don't smoke it where it's the rasta. Me if you use my brain. Love. Universal love. Just universal love. That's what we need. Don't make anybody be sure themselves. Universal love rest. Stay tuned. I see you have more of Idris Abu Karim interview when he was praising David O and also blasting uh, uh, Bono Boy. But meanwhile, the surprising thing is that instead David O to come out to praise Idris Abu Karim for respecting him, David O came out and called Idris Abu Karim a pussy. That is so surprising, guys. Well, that is how Davido. Uh, 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 maybe Davido doesn't even respect his opinion. He doesn't even give a damn about Idris Abu Karim's opinion of anything. But Idris Abu Karim, well, I don't know what he thinks. Like, well, everybody has an opinion. Everybody must talk. But meanwhile, guys, uh, what do you guys think about the whole situation of Idris Abu Karim coming out to blast uh, Bono Boy? Was he really called for? Do we really need to hear his opinion about these kind of things? Like, he's a legend, we all know, but do, does he really need to come out and be addressing this issue? Do you guys support him for coming out to be addressing those issues, or do you guys think that he's just being foolish? Let me know in the comment section. And meanwhile, we already know that Magic Fashe is dead, but one thing you don't know is about Magic Fashe. When you see all those David o, techno, Bono Boy and all those people signing deals abroad. No, Major Fajek did it first. Major Fajek was the first African artist to ever sign a deal with Etherscope. Worth 20 million US dollars. Guys, Major Fajek did that. He signed that deal. And one time, uh, Bob Marley, Bob Marley's uh, wife, uh, Rita, once dashed Major Fajek 100,000 US dollars. That time, guys, 100,000 US dollars. Belcher Fadja signed a deal of 20 million US dollars before even Fela, before uh, uh, David O, Whiskey, and all those guys. Major Fadja did that. Major Fadja did that. But surprisingly, guys, we, I don't know what happened to this guy. Surprisingly, according to the information, according to people who are talking with models from our girl around, around, they say somebody from or this state from his village sent some witches and wizard to meet him. Like they bewitched him. That was why he started drinking, smoking, all those kind of stuff. But we already know that all those artists, they make money, 
the easy thing they can easily take as a companion is smoke and drinking. It's really hard not to smoke and drink when you have so much resources. So when you have a lot of money and when you have fame, you can, any girl can die for you. It's really, really hard not to smoke and drink, guys. Honestly, really, really hard. It's really, really hard. So, but according to the information, they said, the guy, that somebody bewitched him. So what do you guys think? But now the guy has gone to rest. And one thing is that everybody is now coming around to say, oh, Harai, pay my job, fashion, do this. Even whiskey came out to send his condolences. Please, guys, please never wish to die and be famous. Wish to be alive and be famous, guys. Because Magic Fashion now is there, everybody is now coming out. BBC is talking about him. CNN is talking about him. When this guy has nothing, when this guy was struggling, nobody, CNN, the BBC didn't even know that this guy ever exists until when he's dead now. When a Bono Boy performed in, in Good Morning America, Magic Fashion has done that in 1992. 1992, Magic Fashia has already done that. So all those people you see them going abroad to sign their uh, deals, Magic Fashia have done that. I remember when they say, I remember my father used to tell me the story about him that the day Magic Fashia performed, sent out the rain in the industry, that rain actually fell that day. And it was dry season. I said, damn, that story rain in all of those states. The day Magic Fashia sang, sent out the rain in the industry stage, Rain, it actually rained that day and it was dry season. I don't know how credible that story is, but that was what I had when I was growing up. So it's our Edo State brother, and every Edo State here to try as much as possible to give us our respect. So, meanwhile, guys, I don't want to waste much time with RIP to him. And uh, of course, let us talk about uh, Idris Abu Karim again. And uh, let's all listen to this one is praising David of this generation of guys. I've truly done well. And if I have to call anybody Odogu for this game now. Now David. David. For this new generation, now you be the Odogu, I know. Um, I might have had the um, misunderstanding with you in the past because you disrespected Dilim Omodu. And I'm all, I've said some things about you that I'm not supposed to say. That I will tell you that I take back my word. You're a good guy. David, do God bless you. Cynthia Morgan, every other person that you are trying to help, that you're trying to add value to their lives, just because people think about business first. But you went ahead. And show that they are loved. That was exactly what we did in our own time. Ulu maintain. Um, Where them see. Um, plantation boys. Remedies. Everybody have misunderstanding. But then the love was beautiful. We were showing each other the love. And we were supporting. Tony Tetula was accommodating Two-Face and Co. I accommodated Timaya, showed him love, put him on my stage, just like that. The Choki put me on my stage. But you guys don't have that love, but you have love. You are the Odogu that I know. Presently. Because Odogu's done plenty, Tete. Fela na Odogu. Idris Abukarim na Odogu. Femi Kuti na Odogu. Shewani Kula Kuti na Odogu. But presently, I accept that you be Odogo. But now, boy, you never be Odogo. Mm -mm. Learn to not let it get to your head. You never so, guys, uh, like I've said, surprisingly, he said David Doe to come out to acknowledge the praises that Idris Abu Karim rained on him. David Doe ended up calling Idris Abu Karim a pussy, insulting Idris Abu Karim for even praising him. So, I don't understand. Like, it's supposed to be somebody praises you, you have to acknowledge, acknowledge that prayer and say, okay, thank you for praising me. But no, David Doe didn't do that. He said he insulted this guy. So, I don't know why. Maybe their beef runs 
deep down more than what we even think about. And there are also guys are uh, as you leave your comment, whiskey surprisingly blasted President Buari the other day, yesterday, when he came online, was like was so lamenting about Buari, comparing Buari to Donald Trump. And it, it, it said that the only difference is that Donald Trump knows how to use Twitter, while Buari doesn't know how to use Twitter. But the thing is that let me know how you feel about it. Like me, I was really surprised for, the, for Whiskey to be coming out straight to call out Buari's name. It has never happened before. We see all those artists coming out. Uh, uh, not happy about the situation of this country. In fact, guys, we all know this, know it. Nothing in this country works. No light, no water, no transportation, no access of, to education, no access to medical care, no access to house, no good, no good roads, no rain. Honestly, the truth is that we are in big trouble in this country. If we don't start fighting now, if we don't start agitating for all those things, Man, we are not going on anywhere. In the next 50 years, we are still, we still remain the same. This, this, all those problems that we have now are the same thing that I knew we had when I was growing up. When I was five years old, six years old, no light. Up to today, no light. Are we progressing or we are going backward? I don't, I, I, I don't know. We are not going forward. We are going extremely backward. The money they have spent in building Nigeria, you can use it to build UK times 10. The inflation going on, I don't know, you don't want to see it. The inflation going on. I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to see you next time. As you go, try as much as possible to like this video, comment on it, share it on all social media platforms. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter. That was linked me there. And of course, uh, when you subscribe, click on the bell notification so you can get updated on all our new content. Also, I'm on Facebook, guys. You can follow me there at Adam's Link Media. See you guys next time. Bye.